Good morning everyone. Today is quite literally going to be a coffee and chat video because I have a coffee and I want to authentically chat with you. If you're new to this channel, I wanted to specify that the coffee and chat series truly is one where we talk about more controversial topics, we have a conversation and we really dissect the, I guess, nuance behind these controversial topics. This is a playlist that I've wanted to revitalize for a while and I'm ready to do so today because a video happened to pop up on my uh, YouTube home feed yesterday that got my wheels turning about this particular topic and really had me reevaluating my role as a wife, a mother, a feminine woman, and also a content creator on the topic of traditional femininity. And so that is femininity is selflessness. This video was basically explaining how they observed when they had talked to many different people on the topic of femininity that the most feminine women that stuck out to them were selfless women. And you've heard me talk about on this channel how selfishness has really plagued modern society. The always putting me first really doesn't derive that much happiness out of life like we're subscribed that it's going to be. It leads to superficial self-fulfillment. And in femininity content, we talk a lot about self-improvement. It could easily be taken as selfish in itself. And so I don't really have that many laid out thoughts listed properly on this topic. So I wanted to kind of open the floor to conversation, talking about femininity and selflessness because i also think there's another aspect to the topic where we encroach on extreme martyrdom territory now i am a christian so i believe in self-sacrifice like i just said um self-actualization becoming the best person that you can be developing your soul does take a component of like choosing your heart in life and putting others first but when we talk about femininity and self-improvement and even down to the frivolous things like your appearance if it is taken too superficially and only focused on in terms of that and like what you can get or how you can improve yourself to serve like me 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 then i really do think that femininity is kind of developed in a void and it doesn't serve its full purpose which is kind of what this person was saying in terms of like selflessness having a heart of gratitude having a posture of helping other people in your life it got me thinking of the simplistic example of beautifying my space. I absolutely love cleaning my kids' space, like sleep space, making it smell nice, cozy, ensuring that they have proper sheets, comfy PJs. This brings me so much joy. And this does play into the feminine aspect that I talk a lot about, which is nurturing your space, home decor, cleanliness, which of course can come from a selfish perspective of like making me feel good because I have a surrounding that you know is clean presentable I have the sheets that I want you get the picture but what a gift is it that I can use my tendency my natural tendency to want to do that or like my developed skills that I have worked on in femininity to learn how to better beautify my space to bless other people like my family likewise I recently did a video talking about getting yourself out of a beauty rut and at the end of the video I encouraged you to understand that beauty is much more than like I just mentioned using it as a tool to get what you want it is also a gift to the world you are created in the image of God taking care of your vessel taking care of your beauty is a gift to the world the way that modern culture often encourages us to use it is just self-gratification or like to score or like a rich guy for example or to get more likes on Instagram but I've noticed that if you look at it like so much deeper with so much more purpose it will yield you better results and an easy way to kind of like put this in layman's terms so to speak is to think about what my mother had always said as a teacher that was her career the kids would learn better if she prettied herself up kids are so innocent and sweet and what an honor 
it was to be able to be a part of those kids lives every single day and show up as the best physical version of yourself to show that you care about yourself and to show that you care about those kids that you want them to feel as though they are coming into a space where we present ourselves and we take care of ourselves to the best version that we can be so likewise when we talk about being a wife and femininity what I I have noticed is that it goes so much more deeper than just like making yourself physically attractive to your husband because like I've also mentioned in the past husbands they love a feminine attitude and that you're cute but like 99.9% .9 of them don't necessarily expect perfection but you taking it seriously as a wife your appearance for example and developing your femininity in other ways other ways the ways that you move your confidence how you speak to other people in a lighter tone all of these things all of these things sound superficial they can to an extent really bring honor to the relationship that you have and this extends to everybody else as well and also selflessness serving other people modern culture you know often gives us the image of hot mom why mom mess and please I am not downplaying the seriousness of how difficult motherhood can be and how difficult it can be to juggle many different things on your plate as a wife as well especially those of you who are also working but caring about others and using your femininity to have a playful spirit for example with your family to think of fun date night activity to cooking meals with love and care these are the things that really make life worthwhile it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy to try to do this creating a schedule for yourself maybe getting up before your family to cook a nice breakfast doing the laundry these are not all glamorous things but they all serve in the picture of creating a feminine space for others to thrive in your life and a lot of what I just said sounds kind of like abstract concepts because we would need hours and hours to unpack this on my channel but I wanted to reiterate the main point the topic of the video which is femininity is selflessness or femininity as an act of selflessness what do you all think about this again I truly do draw the line in the sense of like you can't totally sacrifice yourself and like be you know grinding where you are running on three hours of sleep just trying to serve others in your life or be like somebody who doesn't complain at all that is not what we're talking about here there is an element of taking care of yourself but I truly believe that if you come from a posture of understanding your femininity as a gift to other people structure in your day or how you go about your actions will flow more so naturally so leave your opinion down below I would love to chat more about this in the comments and I'll see you next time lovely feminine friends bye bye